this has never existed and is the novel part for like why this is this is very different than bridging you're we're not missing any tokens you're basically like using bitcoin native assets my name is Amin and i'm a cto as arch network what is the experience you are having when you are uh when you're like self custodian Bitcoin and you want to send that to someone else or like execute a trade, you're basically like constructing a Bitcoin transaction or at least the wallet does. You hold this UTXO that you're self custodian and you include it inside the Bitcoin transaction that's either sending to someone else or like participating in a trade that is like being countersigned by someone else. And uh, that is basically exactly what happens on ours. When you're making a trade on a DEX, for example, you're basically including your self custodied UTXO inside a Bitcoin transaction and signing, it, and signing a PSBT. That PSBT is then sent to the program that actually constructs a Bitcoin transaction inside the program and countersigns the other parts of the trade. And then that transaction is submitted to the Bitcoin network. And mind you, the PSBT rules that you signed are reinforced by Bitcoin. So you're not even taking like any additional trust assumptions. And this is basically like a VM where you can basically natively construct Bitcoin transactions and programs can countersign your Bitcoin transactions. This has never existed and is the novel part for like why this is, this is very different than bridging. You're, we're not missing any tokens you're basically like using Bitcoin native assets. It's not the same risk. So let's go back to the DEX example. The PSBT that you are signing is basically, you're saying that I'm only willing to let go of these amount of tokens if I get back a corresponding amount of Bitcoin. So what you're basically, uh, so basically Bitcoin miners need to enforce this rule. So even if the program uh, like steals some of your Bitcoin, transaction is your, your signature inside the PSVC is just going to be invalid. Uh, so nothing goes out of your wallet. Versus like a bridge, if you're sending them uh, some, some Bitcoin and they decide to, to like mint you less amount of tokens, you, you have nothing, can do nothing about it. So, so each program basically has, has a Bitcoin address within Arch that is basically controlled, it's basically secured by the whole validator set. And uh, the validators make sure that like the execution is based, like transfer of assets through the multi-sig is being done through execution. So execution like basically sends a transaction and that transaction is what moves the asset. When programs hold these assets, they can basically control them and do more uh they can be flexible about what they do there these assets they can track what they hold uh they can like create pools for example for uh for like the pool the pool program what it actually does is when an lp uh when an, uh when a liquidity position is created we're depositing like bitcoin utxos into the into the program's multi-sig and the program basically keeps track of those UTXOs inside the account state. And uh, whenever someone comes and trades against the, the, the pool, basically we can take these uh, UTXOs that we already have tracked and construct the Bitcoin transaction and also at the same time update the curve of the pool.